This is my review of the QNAP QNA-310G1T. It's a 10 gigabit Ethernet over copper adapter to Thunderbolt 3. And I bought this to connect an Apple Silicon MacBook Air to a 10 gigabit network. It does work with PCs too, and there's a driver you can download to make it work. You absolutely must have a Thunderbolt port for it to work. It doesn't work with USB 3, 3.1 type ports. It's a multi gig adapter, which means it'll connect at 10, 5, 2.5, and, and 1 gigabit, and even 100 megabits. The units are small and light at 112 millimeters by 27 millimeters by 56 millimeters and weighs in at 191 grams, which makes it a pretty small addition to the cables and adapters that I normally have to carry around with my laptop anyway. I wanted to find out how much power it consumes. So first of all, without the adapter, I fully charge my laptop battery and I set the screen brightness to half. I quit all programs except for a network ping running in the background on terminal. And then I measured how much power consumption the laptop had at the wall. This gave my laptop baseline power consumption at six watts. And then I plugged in the network adapter and let it join the network and settle down into a steady state. And with the adapter plugged in, consumption rose to a total of 15 watts, which means the adapter's consumption is about nine watts. If you're running on battery, then that's actually a pretty big reduction in battery life. But the fact is, if you're somewhere where you need to be plugged into a wide network at 10 gigabit, then you're probably somewhere that also has a wall power point and you can just plug in a power charger anyway. Now, nine watts dissipated in such a tiny little box would usually mean that the box would get very hot, but the hottest I measured the box getting was 39 degrees. And here we get to the reason for the well-controlled temperatures and the hidden floor. The T310G1T has a fan. And that fan is not silent. I measured the sound output at 50 centimeters with an app on my iPhone in a near silent room, first with the adapter not plugged in, and it measured 35 decibels, C. And then when I plugged it in and powered it up and got it running, it settled into about 46 decibels C, which isn't crazily loud, but it's definitely unmissable. Everything else in my study is silent. You know, the MacBook Air, the monitor, and the network switch don't have any fans, and they don't make any audible sound. The noise of this adapter is a bit of a shock. The fan isn't mentioned anywhere on the QNAP product page or any of the seller's pages that I looked at on Amazon. So it seems to be a bit of a hidden fault. It's loud enough that I can't use it when I'm recording the voiceovers for my videos. Have a listen. So this is an example of me recording with the adapter running in my studio. And as you can hear, it's definitely audible in the background. Now on the internet, uh, a number of people on Reddit have complained about the noise and one person actually complained about it and tried to find a way of doing a manual modification to see if they could quieten it down. But in the end, they just sold it. I don't have that much of a problem with it. I can adapt to the extra noise it makes. But it's no big deal, but it is definitely a fault. To have a look at its competitors, there's only a small number of Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapters, and I wouldn't call any of them cheap. QNAP lists this item on Amazon for $216. There's an affiliate link below if you want to check it out. The other options are the Sonnet Solo 10G, which lists for about $200, and the Sarbent TH-S3EA for about $160. While the QNAP's at the more expensive end of the market, I would say that it's a quality brand that's recognizable and premium. The build quality is excellent. The thing is rock solid feeling, and it looks absolutely beautiful, frankly. If you really enjoy the aesthetics of Apple, this will fit right in. If the fan noise doesn't bother you, uh, for example, you're going to connect it to a machine in an office environment uh, where there's already plenty of noise anyway, or perhaps a server room where you're not even going to hear it, this is a great product and I'd recommend it. Okay, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please subscribe.